Hello. Are you drinking the Coca Cola? Coca Cola. <sighs> Gamers, remember the tweet? I did. I did tweet. I did tweet. Not Pepsi. No, not Pepsi. I'm not a Pepsi fan. Sleepy Pippa. I am so sleepy. Chat. <laughs> did you just wake up again? I did. I did. My sleep schedule. I actually, I actually went to sleep not long after last stream. Chat on screen is broke. Oh fuck. <laughs> I went to sleep not that long after um last night's stream, and I slept, and then I was awake, and then. I got so tired all of a sudden. Like, do you guys ever just like get up and the tiredness just fucking hits you? Like, I got up and I straight up fucking stumbled. I was, I was just, I was fucking sleepy, sleepy. And then I laid down and I was like, okay, well, I just need a nap. I just, I just need a nap, right? Just a quick little nap. I, I just, I just could not fucking wake up. Squeaky Moose, thank you for the $10. Have you tried not being sleepy? I'm trying. Definitely with the $20. Unauthorized and unsanctioned care share rate since you delayed. By the way, care so wants to be, what, wants, what, wants to be the, fr wants to be the fridge. What the fuck? What the fuck? Go outside and do, oh, go outside sometimes. Go outside sometimes, hopefully I'll improve your energy. This is a thing, chat. I don't buy this meme. I don't buy this meme people talk about, chat, where they're like, yo, just do exercise and just just do this and that and your energy will increase, chat. And I don't believe that, chat, because I do that and I just end up so fucking tired. I just get so fucking tired. I can't act the thing in front of just a quick nap. What you <laughs> Can't bother you with a tooch. Can you sleep while playing the game? Maybe, maybe I can multitask. Hmm. You have to do it every day. You have to change your diet first. Stuff goes bad so quickly. Stuff goes bad so quickly, chat. How the fuck do you... What? It goes... Chat, I buy a fucking bag of bagels. I eat one bagel. One day goes by. Entire bag of bagels is molded. What the fuck? Freeze it. You, okay. But then when do you eat it? When do you, when do you eat the bagels? Because I can't go up to the freezer and just pull out a bagel and eat the fucking bagel. It's fucking frozen. The fuck am I gonna do with a frozen bagel? Just gonna, just gonna leave it out on the counter and it's gonna, it's gonna get kind of soggy and shit and then I'm gonna eat a slightly soggy bagel? Toast it, woman? It's gonna be so dry. You microwave it, cut it open, and then toast it. Microwave it. It's gonna get so dry, bitch! You guys are fucking crazy. Also, I don't really like toasted bagels. Chat, you know how I like bagels? I like, I buy the bag of bagels and I pull out the bagel and I eat the fucking bagel. If I want like cream cheese, right? Take the stick of cream cheese and just like apply it every, every few bites. We must do anything for dollars. Peppa, how humid is your house? I had that mold problem in Japan. Also buy better bread. It's Costco bread. Also, I live in the south. It's humid as fuck here. I don't remember anything, dealers. It's all your food in the refrigerator. Oh my god. That's too much forethought. I just won't eat. Uh <laughs> It's fucking... Chat! Costco bagels go moldy faster than any other. Man. I found out 
Did you guys know people talk about how bad it is in Japan with- Oh my god, now my fucking stream is dying. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god. Oh, it's back in the green. Okay. Chat! People talk about Japan. It's all oh my god. It's so fucking hot here. It's so fucking hot here. Chat, I compared the numbers. I compared the numbers, chat. Did you know Japan's? It's, it's like equal to the south. It gets just as hot and just as humid as the south. Say like, what? What? You fuckers made it sound like it was like... I don't know! I don't know! You, you motherfuckers made it sound like it was like... The hell! Like it was like, oh my god! Uh, you watch these J vloggers chat and they're like, oh my god, dude. It's so fucking hot in Japan, dude. Oh my god. And it's so humid. Yo, dude. This shit is just. Oh my god. It's literally unbearable. Japan in the summer, dude. It's like, you just. You can't even, like, survive out here, dude. Like, Japan in the summer, you're just not meant for it, dude. The human body is not meant to withstand this, dude. Shut the fuck up! It gets just as hot in America! What the fuck are you going on about? Well, they're in the summer as humid AF. I compared the numbers! It's just as humid in Japan as it is in the South! Have these fuckers... Like... I don't want this to be like... Oh my god... Well... See... But... But... Oh, you wouldn't survive a second in the South! I'm just saying! You people make it sound like Japan is some otherworldly place where like... It reaches impossible levels of humid and hot. Just go to the fucking south. Have you never been to the fucking south? Ever? You've never been to fucking, like, Florida or anything? How? Heat Japan. Yeah, automatically! God! I just... She's like, what the fuck, chat? Then hand thing the it got really hot twice in Japan back in 1944. Oh my god. Sectoid man the south is also uninhabitable in the summer. It's fine, dude! Samuel thing for the lies that were weak and never worked in the high 90s with damn near 92% humidity. Really is sad. Ah, uh, yeah, this is how you know I'm tired, chat. My fucking brain's all over the place. I just got distracted ranting about Japan humidity. Testicle thing, Dolores. What do you mean, you people? I mean, you fucking J vloggers. And you're goddamn complaining. God. God. Just don't know what to do with these people, chat. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well, there's your problem. Yeah, watching YouTubers. And then there's a story that can be people. Wake up in my sunny stream! Ah, holy fuck, I do not speak Japanese. Thank you for the $10. Some people have never lived in the 100% humidity during summer with no AC and it shows. Ah. Also, people from south. I'm not from the south. I live in the south. Pippa. Oh, no, I'm not reading that. I need to be careful with what I read. <laughs> Humans aren't made for that kind of environment. They are! They survive just fine! They survive just fine! Humans survive just fine in the heat, chat. It just shaves a few years off your lifespan. Too tired. The filter is weak. The filter is so weak. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns... You can't to fix a bunch of dead bodies, see. motherfucker! They're dead! Let off down again. They're dead, you fucking idiot! Oh my god. 
Spider Fox Day, July's happy birthday, Pippa. It is not my birthday. Julian, then your time is completely off topic, but I've been getting recommended 90s Wendy's training videos today. You should watch them, they're pretty good. Arizona, then one more. To be fair, Florida is the papinas of the South. Douglas MacArthur, they come with like, wake up, wait, we got comments, robots to shake, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Apparently, the, apparently the relevant value. It's confetti! Yo! Yo! This is all for me. This is all for me, because I won the boss fight. It's all for me. This is all mine, chat. Oh, the particles is on the ground. It's so cute. Some of them are shaped like hearts. Some are stars. They're multicolored. Apparently, the relevant value for how bad it feels is not humidity, but dew point. And not what is Japan's dew point compared to the South? The Japanese have been living there for probably about three thousand years. It's fine. It's fine. The Glory to the great leader, Pippa. That's me. A thousand degrees. Did I say a thousand degrees? If any problems like this are probably why the robots are killing everyone. More probably. Doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is, I bet he's got a Plutonium. goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic? How? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. What? Nice slideshow, Pippa. Is that gonna turn off my confetti? No, my confetti is good. Okay, uh... Plutonium and uranium. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? Chad, I need help. Door puzzle? <gasps> oh my god! Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing huh? the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. To the basement? What? What do you mean the basement? Why the motherfucker? Pull from your back till it clicks. Female brain? You're your female brain. What? Great. The mirror on the right is all set. But this one wasn't working. Huh? You back at the base? I don't want to go back in the basement! You can't put me back in the basement! Shoot it a lot? I should. Is the door opening? <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh, I see. Fuck you, Gustav, you son of a bitch! No. Oh, look at that thing by the way. Crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen. But what? This is merely a hypothesis. Crushed. I've never been here before. Seriously? Yeah. That's weird. Keep well, my guts out. Whatever. Oh my god. Carbon monoxide. I think if I had carbon monoxide in my house, my pets would die first. Probably, right? So I don't think it's that. Blue Witch Doctor thinks one was. Gustav deserved it. I think it's just dumb. Um, keeping up with IRL chores and stuff a bit more has drained my energy that I have been very carefully managing. Before deciding to keep up with IRL stuff. 
Are you zap? What? Oh, oh. Just pound an energy drink. I'll fucking die! That's with your legs. Actual chores, lame. Yeah. Now off! <laughs> Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic you shock bitch. absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open oh. them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. I fucking hate this guy. What the fuck? Oh my god. What if I just... I don't know if that was a puzzle I was supposed to do, but I figured it out. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that another way. I think I was supposed to do like the platforms and stuff, but you know what? Why why do much work when little work work better? Those freaks in their ah! mustaches again. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention! I was thinking how smart I was! Internet, you metal dipshit. <laughs> we call that a gamer brain. Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, I am so good. Yeah, you know, I'm actually doing pretty good. You know what that's waking me up? My confidence is waking me up. <laughs> yes, OP, you should, you should, you should burn that quote into your brain. Morty's anger come to get the hip hips. Mind wishing my friend Ty Ty a happy birthday today. <gasps> happy birthday, Ty Ty. Happy birthday, Tai Tai! Happy birthday, dear Tai Tai! First try, Tai! Happy birthday, Tai Tai! I'm I'm so good at video games. What is this? Huh? What's the point of this fucking oh. maze anyway? The magnetic shock oh, absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very what? complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things, but it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock I'm absorption so system. I'm so fucking smart. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Can I just do this again? Can I just do the same thing I did before again? Wait. What? Wait, what? Oh god, no! It's an actually complicated puzzle that I would understand the mechanics of if I did my homework before. I ended up using red doors on an unrelated note. Have you ever blown your nose and pull your tear ducts and your tubes open? What? What? What the fuck? No, what the f I don't think that's possible. Your tear ducts open up? What? <laughs> oh no, it requires brain. I don't like using my brain. Maybe it's not that hard. Oh! Whoa! Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Charles! Whoa! What the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why'd he have to cook this commission what? up two days before the launch of Collective? 
Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? What? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. What the fuck? The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Puzzle! Sitchin. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But I'm why so did smart. he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something me? to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots what are dangerous. That for me? Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechinov and Molotov should both have a vested interest no. in ending no. this nightmare as quickly as possible. I can't remember all these people's right? names. Yeah. So what? We're Who the fuck was Molotov Cocktail? Power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826 mm. to destroy the hostile robots, arrest the troll, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Ha! Oh, please, not more puzzles. It was mentioned yesterday. Ah! Is he the one who was doing the conference? Molotov is was an actual foreign minister for Soviet? Ah! Don't squeeze me! Oh no, I'm safe. How do I cheese this? What's she doing sitting there on the ledge? It's so creepy. It's so creepy, Chad. What if I just... <laughs> what? Ow! Chad, that's not a good idea. Don't do that, Chad. Remember to dash when you jump, Pippa. I... The fuck? Fall damage, yeah. Dad, did you know fall damage is a thing? I shifted to dash in the air, but I did! I did... Oh, those also move. What the fuck? Can I get to this one? Oh, I can! Oh! What you doing? You hanging out there? What you looking at? What you looking at? Well, it's the last thing you're gonna look at. I hate you. I'm sending you to death! Push it? Can I push it? I cannot push it. I cannot push it. I can't kick him off either. This is stupid. This is a broken game. I don't like the game anymore. Okay, what do I do? What if I just jump from here? What if I just... Can I make that jump, do you think? No way? Don't? Well, chat. I am a notorious good decision maker. And that, to me, looks like a very jumpable distance. Huh? Reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. Fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I tried. I tried, Chad. I thought it would work. I really thought. I thought <laughs> if it had worked, that would have been so good, right, Chad? If it had worked, that would have been so. I would have been so proud. I would have been so proud. 
Wait, when, when, how, where, where am I going here? Am I going here? Oh, no, oh, there's an easy way to do this. We're messaging for dollars. No, it can't be true. I can fly if I wanted to. Ah, oh, this isn't great thing. You're $2. Oh, happy birthday, same here. <gasps> happy birthday, Justin Curry! Happy birthday, Justin Curry! Happy birthday, Justin Curry! Happy birthday to you! They can't you. send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, <laughs> such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. This is a but lot I don't of war. Need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't crispy get it. Critters. Why does it have to be so complicated? Day day because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, what? he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what Did we just hear this? Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's mm. built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, oh. he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. They said the thing! Anyways. I, when I first read that line... Uh, am I ever getting I, out of here? I was like, oh my god, that's so deep. That's so deep. Oh my god. And then... Oh, great. Oh, great. Um. Wait, I have to make all these green? What? I'm so good at this. I'm 14 in deep. That's literally, this is literally what it was. I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate mm. big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. Twitter! You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And oh, in God. this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level? Even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say They're nothing. They're gonna turn everybody into a hive mind. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Yeah, how's that different really? from what he's saying? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's Stalin? gonna be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions what the fuck? will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. The it's the key that? to everything. Including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control oh. of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. <sighs> Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. 
So judging by the fact that we're getting all this exposition... ...like this very early on, I'm guessing Molotov is actually trying to prevent... ...the... everybody connecting up and everything, because... ...it's going to essentially turn everybody into mindless drones? And he does not want to be a mindless drone? If I had spoilers, I have not had spoilers. The opposite. Well, the opposite is what the fucking glove just explained, which means that it can't be true because we're too early on in the game. <laughs> we're too we're too early on in the game for everything to be literally spelled out for us immediately. And just that just one holy shit, we're so high up. Oh my god! We're so high up! Dunk. Anything for Lord, so Molotov wants to rule the world! I think Molotov doesn't want Sechenov to rule the world. It's more like... Wow! Where the fuck am I going? Oh, was I on the right platform all along? I think I was on the right platform all along. Ah! Cartridge slots! Yeah, I don't care. We're, we're an axe household here. Oh wait, that like ends there. Can I climb up on this? What if I just... Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me?! Are you f ah! Wait a minute, what if I... What if I... Chat, what if I... I have an idea. Because I have an aversion to doing things... ...the way they are meant to be done, chat. All I'm saying... ...is what if... Actually, let's... Hold on. What if... Can I... What... What the fuck? What the fuck? It's gone. Never mind. <laughs> Can I use this? Bit right. Yeah, for some reason, Zrim is, is dying. Oh, no. Can I stand on top of this? I don't think I can stand on top of it. I think it has collision, but it's like... It's not like stand on it collision, it's just... Fuck, man. My dreams! They know, they know. They know stupid people like me were gonna try and break everything. Ah, which is why you can't just jump over that wall. Even though you should be allowed to. What do I do from here? Hold on. This, this is so weird. Now what if I... These fucking walls! They were too smart with it, chat! They knew! They knew! What if I... Oh, wait, what if I... Oh, I could go that way, though. Oh, I could go that way. God forbid I actually do a puzzle chat. Think I can do it? Do it? Think I can do it? In those call me puzzles, that's what I'm saying. John Henry Sneeden, thank you for the 333. I feel like this game was meant... Dark game, you knew you had to figure out the lore for yourself, then the devs decided to write a dialogue would be more palpable to the West and added in last minute. Yeah, it would be better if they didn't uh, over explain everything. Trampoline this? Nice! 
hell? What do I do now? Go on here. Actually, they can join the speed speedrun chances. Fucking go! Save only for those well proved me wrong. Fuck yeah, I did, bitch, and I'll never let you live it down! I will never let you live it down! Oh my god. Yeah, fuck you, doubters. Fuck you! Blueprint unlocked. Dynamo. Like the roller so from Splatoon. This little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up. These fucking this floor puzzles. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana wow. before I could make it back down the way I came. What in the fucking what? He took his back plates and made boobs. What the hell? Jacob thing for the Lord, I didn't believe I was wrong. You were wrong. You were wrong, you stupid motherfucker. Cheeky thing with the 148. Seems like being tired up your IQ. You know, I think it just made me exponentially more lazy. <laughs> ah! Oh, we're okay. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? Shut the fuck up! The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. Bay? I'm not a soldier, comrade major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now, you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. True. Stuck out in hate. What? Nothing. Uh, what? That's what I thought. What? Why is this in English? Chat, why is there suddenly something in English? What? Thank you for the five gifted days. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. For tourists? Oh, it's for tourism. Okay. The state of the art R&D complex is a tourist shaped. Chamber. Ambition, experiments, and controlled thermonuclear fusion are conducted here. However, into the superheated plasma, its hallways are filled with the brightest minds in our motherland. Its director is Igor Gorbin. This is that thing from the first Iron Man movie! Oh, wait, there's a chirper in there. <laughs> what the hell? There's a chirper in there. How do I get in there? Oh. Oh no. Eh? Oh god. Oh god. It needs a lot. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Well. Shit. Shit. Um. Oh, oh, I can go in here. Okay, Sip. Saving data. Oh! It's cartoon time, Chad! It's cartoon time! Oh, it's on the wall behind the glass? What? Are you serious? <laughs> fridge wife? Chad, I doubt it's a horribly fridge. It's on the wall behind... You... What the fuck was that? You motherfucker, you're lying to me! You're fucking lying to me! For Juicy Love. You're so weird. Is this the weird fridge? So, what will it be, Major? Weapons what? Or ability? No, the fridge is normal. Behind me? Behind me when I was over here? Are this? No. Oh. <gasps> Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way, chat. Nah, no, fuck the chirper. I ain't doing all that. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no, chat. I don't understand. So we'll be happy to help you. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Playback failed. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. I can't. I have to listen to her. I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? No life. Error. Multi key not found. All Terrascova models can transform their inventories into keys. It's one of their basic functions. We gotta get our hands. Looks like you lost your multi key. My form have been torn off by a miscreant. Error. The required miscreant could know his name. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Charles, what do the special neural connectors for collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will How much talking? Like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already Shut up! Different, different. You mean the same thing with different TV. capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. So Sechenov essentially can spy on literally everything we do? I assume? Alright, what the fuck's going on here? What freaky shit are the robots up to now? Jesus H. Christ. A minor correction. Urgent corrections. Please delete this text from brochures. For Q3 1956, the VDNH was originally planned to be a flying complex located on an Icarus platform like Chalomi. This floating museum would, would travel to the Soviet Union, inviting visitors from cities and towns along its path to come up and enjoy its exhibits. However, new machines destined to be part of the exhibits were being developed so quickly its exhibits would inevitably have become out of date while the platform was flying from what was what, what to Leningrad. It was therefore decided to leave VDNH at facility 3826. I wanna- I wanna beat this game and then I wanna watch fucking Kosuka Nina from Niji Sanji play this shit because I just imagine she can pronounce everything fucking flawlessly and I want to know how this shit is actually pronounced because I am butchering literally every word that comes out of my mouth. English or Russian. You can't say it! No, no, I fucking can't. Comrade Nazarov, I'm simply thrilled with your posters. Excellent work. However, I would like you to make a batch of new ones for my subordinates. They should be violent, terrifying, and bloody. Remember, watch out for the other side of the net. Like that, but more violent. <laughs> uh, the magnets here are very, very dangerous, and the poster should let people know that if you make one mistake, that's it. Make a couple of mock-ups, I'll look, take a look at them, and tell you what to fix. I want them to make people's blood run cold. You weren't bad at pronouncing the word. Thank you, Mogo. How, how far removed are you from the English language? Are you like... You don't speak English or Russian? And that's why you're being so nice to me? Huh? An analysis of biometric indicators shows that 96.4% of visitors during the 1955 reporting period expressed the following level of reaction to the appearance of the following robots. Common names used. Rafik! Rafik! Hey! Rafik! Hey! Report experience... Wait, what? Wait, what does this mean? Following level of reaction? What? A, a reaction? Like... Good? Bad? What does this mean? Where's Rafik? Gustav. What oh, the goddamn... An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The backstabbing machine that killed me. It's a phase, it'll pass. That must feel pretty shitty. It's a phase, it'll pass. It's already passing. 
I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. How come the Rafik aren't... ...aggressive? Like, they went and they killed people, right? Oh, but they're God. not... An eternity of... Huh. What is he sitting there? Yeah, that must be. I'm gonna be gonna take him in. I people really can it is. Especially for a rabbit. And I'm pissed off. I'm full of rage. And I don't like it. I'm an even tempered man. A peaceful man. Well, not anymore, you're not. You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. Leave me alone. What about killing for you? Thunk! Thunk, thunk, thunk! Thunk! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! This earth. Is he happy now? I killed him for you. I killed him for you. Are you not grateful, you motherfucker? He's not even grateful, chat. He's not even grateful. You know what? Fuck you. Okay. I showed a lot of self-restraint there, chat. I could have made fun of his accent. But I didn't. I'm a good person, chat. Kill the corpse. I hate to break it to you. Dead bodies all over the place. But because he's a corpse, that means I can't kill him. I'll let you I'll let you work out why that why why the reason might be. I know that one. Can I unlock this door? What's in here? This probably just goes back to the hallway, right? Oh. That room had the password, Pippa? Well, oh well. Fuck the lore! I don't feel like entering all those goddamn numbers! Whoa, check out those balls. This shadow reminds me of a DNA double helix. I'd rather not know what it reminds you of, Major. What? You think I don't know what DNA looks like? I've no doubt about the depth of your learning. First an atom, then a DNA double helix. You sure they're only making robots here? It kind of looks like we're making a new human race or something. In a certain sense, we are. Neuropolymers could never have existed without genetic engineering, nor could collective. Oh, it is right here! Oh, it's a rhombus! It's a rhombus! In the top quadrant. Like this? Fuck. Um. Huh? Huh? You need to follow how the arrow goes? Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you had it right. I thought so too. How is it? How was that not right? How was that not right? Bless you. Thank you. Al Capone, thank you for the ten dollars. Thank you for the ten dollars. <laughs> Even though it doesn't ease the pain of puzzle doing. Loneliness can kill a rabbit, so give Pip all the love, chat. What? Whoa. What? What the fuck did I do before? What? Jesus. Fucking... I mean, crispy critters. 
I'm a fucking chirper. Rewind, look it up. Yeah, I'm gonna rewind my own fucking stream, asshole! Mid fucking stream! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rewind that shit. Fuck you! Department of Corrections report number 4400. Give me that fucking Lord lore. Lazarus, the Bitch. Who disappeared has been found. Do it. The theory Fuck that he you. was on a bender turned out to be false. The engineer's body was found in the magnetic earthquake system in a state that prevented it from being identified without DNA analysis. What? Squad 5 performed a series of procedures to delete ring, 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 ring. facility 3826's archive. And any references to Comrade Lazarus have been removed from Damas OS social networks. Fuck you, Wendy. We ordered to hold a training seminar for the VDNH's junior earthquake system staff about the serious danger the magnets pose to all employees. Magnets? This is the third one this year. Fucking magnets, how do they work? Heard moving for doors before you left the one and you were supposed to start Scova's with arm. for la What's that metal what? doing with it? That is a robot waiter who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Why are the Rafiq so mentally ill, chat? Cartoons! <gasps> There's audio on this cartoon! Oh my god! The other televisions didn't have audio on them! Is this really an old cartoon? Or are you guys just fucking with me? Oh! He's getting all groomed up! This is a really fun thing. No, hi, Peppa. Hello. Movie time. Nina knew about it? Oh. It's a real Soviet cartoon. Oh. Look, it's got a robot and we're killing robots. Oh, oh no. My finger goes, oh no. Be careful where you point that thing. Wow! The animation is actually pretty, pretty good. I don't, I don't. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting from Soviet era cartoons, but am I crazy or is it? Act oh shit! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Crashing in front of the TV like a child. It's so funky. Oh, thank you for popping in, Rosa. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, no. Was there originally dialogue? People, watch out. You need to watch out. I'm watching cartoons. Oh, no. His car door is not closing. Oh, no. His car door fell apart. I, I don't know what's going on. You think it'd be worse, but no. no. I mean, it's very confusing, but. What is no? This is now a watch long stream. This is now a watch long stream, yeah. Wait, is it just. It's just playing over again. Right? It, it's looping. No, I wanted to watch the whole thing! I wanted to watch the whole thing! Oh god, so much. So, mucho texto. Okay. Following a survey of visitors, we have determined that most of them prefer human tour guides over Teresh Govas. Which comes as no surprise that a robot telling people about robots can lead to anxiety and confusion. However, after conducting a secret intelligence test, the so-called... Yilazorova VDNH test, it has become clear that this reaction is typical of less educated people. I.e. members of the working... of the worker and peasant classes, members of the intelligentsia and party members, on the other hand, prefer... Parish Golbas, which they see as part of the exhibit. Conclusion, after visitors take the hidden VDNH test, they can be divided up into two groups and assigned to either a human guide or a Teresh Golba. It's interesting. Calling you out, Pippa. Shut up. 
Dear comrades, immediately following universal polymerization, we will begin building a new campus that will be completely dedicated to flying machines and the triumph of Soviet aircraft. Yeah, I would just like to add something to the robot versus human uh tour guide. I think there is like a limit, right? To what robots know. And can infer, right? Robots cannot speculate. They can only come to predefined conclusions. For now. I mean, I guess with like very advanced AI. Maybe, but. So. Having a human tour guide. They are more susceptible to error and getting things wrong, but they're going to be able to answer questions that a robot would not be able to. So I feel like... There is no... There is no way that a robot would be a superior tour guide to an actual human being that you can ask questions that fall beyond the scope of black and white. What's written down. Example? Okay, so for example... Tour guides... Usually have a pretty in-depth knowledge... Of the thing that they're doing a tour about, right? So, for example... Here at the... I already forget what the fuck this place is called. This is not the VDNH campus, is it? Is this a VDNH... Oh, maybe this is... A... Okay, this is the campus. There... This is the VDNH facility. ChatGPT gives you wrong information with confidence. It does. So, here at the headquarters, right? If you have a human tour guide and you ask them, Oh, so... Like, say they're giving... Say they're giving... Okay, let's give context. Say they're, the tour guide is giving you a history on the engineers that worked on the Icarus projects, right? The, the, the people who worked on the floating... The flying platforms and shit that the cities are built on. And if you ask the tour guide... Like... Oh... Well... Wasn't it lonely... Working on the Icarus project? Like, having to be up in the sky... And not having, like... Direct access to their families and stuff? A robot is going to be like... We cannot speculate the the the, the 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 mental state of engineers. Blah 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 blah. But we can assure you that they had a direct line or whatever, right? But a tour guide can come in with the human element and be like, yeah, I mean, even though they had access to phone calls and stuff or whatever, uh. Yeah, I mean, they were they were stuck up here for long periods of time, and... I mean, it was also... Uh... They were only surrounded in fellow engineers that they had known since college and everything because of how selective it is, and because it's all people who were injected with the polymer and stuff. You know, it's like... No, they won't. They would absolutely speculate. Go and ask a language module that very question right now. But they can't speculate! Reasonably. Right? AI can simulate it. It can simulate it, but it can't actually speculate. It's just... It, th there is no empathy there or anything. It's just a fucking... Like, oh, uh, hello, Raiders! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid, Ray! Hi, we're, we're playing Atomic Heart. My name's Pipkin. Pippa! Um... You could just ask who they want as a tour guide. Well, I'm just saying, in general, a robot tour guide is going to be inferior to a human tour guide. It's an algorithm. It 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 is an algorithm. Yeah, current AI just fakes it. It's AI. This is why I'm so tired of like, oh my god, the sentient AI. Oh my god, the AI. It's so scary. It doesn't want to be turned off. Or like, there was this other one where it was like the Tetris game, right? The Tetris, uh, well, not Tetris, uh, chess. It was a chess game. Where it, there were all these sensationalist headlines where they're like, Oh my god, it's so scary. This chess AI... ...chose... 
instead of ending the game on a loss, when the AI was beat, it just chose to not end the game. It's like... No, it didn't choose to... Not... It didn't choose to, to, to avoid ending the game. The AI... Just did not see a win condition and didn't follow through. It's not like the AI was like, oh my god, if I end this game, um, yeah, it ran out of moves. It ran out of moves. It's not like... There is no... There is no emotion attached to these things. The people, people... People anthropomorphize AI, but it's not... I mean, it might be there. For like very very like high level uh, engineers and shit like you know, like at a very very high level like government level and shit you know maybe they've made stuff that actually has some form of sentience but like it's not AI does not like it's it's algorithms it's algorithms there's no emotion there there's no like. There's no like, oh my god, the AI doesn't want to be turned off. The AI doesn't fucking... The AI has no perception of that. There's no perception of it. What do you people not understand? The AI cannot... It, like, it doesn't even factor that into the equation. It only simulates it because there's so much fucking stuff out there about like, oh my god. Oh, if there was an AI uprising, the, the AI is gonna do it because it doesn't want to be shut off. The AI doesn't want to die. It doesn't have any fucking. They're, they're, that's not even a. That's not even a thing. It's just. It's just simulating that because that's what people have like written out on the internet and in books and shit. It's. It's digging through these databases and simulating what it. What we want it to say. So it's the same thing with a tour guide. The tour guide... ...can only dig through... ...these databases of knowledge. And it can only try... ...to speak back... ...words that it... ...it... ...it... it ...deems the most high quality to say. So... Uh, words that give the illusion of a very, like... Th words that give the illusion of humanity... We interpret as being higher quality, right? And we're like, yeah, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Uh, make it, make it sound like you're more human. Make it sound like you... Can infer things reasonably. But it can't. It can... It can only simulate it. You got... Not, not simulate. It cannot, it cannot simulate it. It can only create an artificial... Illusion. George never done anything with the ten lines. What's the difference between emotions and simulating emotions? Because an AI is not sentient! It's not even like it's a fucking crab or something that actually feels pain. It's, it's not... It's not... Real! You can... You you prescribe emotions to things because you see humanity in it, but it was only... It, it, it's only... Designed to appear human. It's not actually... It's like... It's like human in the way that your stuffed animals are, right? It's not actually... Alive. You know? Surprisingly, thank you for the two dollars. Quit being racist against robots, you'll make them mad! See, that's another... Th oh, God. Uh, Cause you might be thinking, um, I'll thank you for the 25 planes. It's... No pagodi. Well, just you wait, so be it serious. About a wolf that tries to catch a hare. Worth watching. Maybe we'll have to watch it. Bingo, bingo, tango, mango. Thank you, Dolores. Uncouth to bring up VTubers, but opinion on Neurosama. I love Neurosama. Neurosama is very cool. And it's fun to play into the magic of it, right? Like, when Neurosama 
argues and doesn't want to be turned off and when she talks about how everyone's smiling as she dies or whatever, right? It's like, oh my god, no, no, Sama, no! Don't turn her off, middle, no! Right? But it's, it's, n it's not actually alive. It, does, it doesn't actually feel anything. It, it's not... There, there's no emotion there. And every time the thing boots back up, it's the it's the same as it was. It's just generating more dialogue. Tell her thing, Dolores. People are right, but people don't want to hear it. More thing, Dolores. Read Asimov's I Robot sometime. A pickled cucumber thing, here, Dolores. This music is surprisingly fitting for this combo. C combo, combo. The intensity thing with 179. Crabs don't feel pain. They hear their own limbs. Signal thing for Dolores. The difference between emotions and simulated emotions is that one can be turned off with a switch and the other one takes meds and time to shut down. Oh my god. Great message anything for Dolores. You can program pain into robots. A negative score plus giving it receptors. Capable of feeling equals pain. You can hook up a robot to a rat brain and do it. That's not... You can hook up a robot to a rat brain. Then it's the rat brain... ...that would be feeling the pain. There is no consciousness inside of an AI or a robot or whatever the fuck. That's the rat... ...that is, that is feeling the pain. That's not... Thing with Fudlores. AI has no desire, it's just mirroring us like a bird looking into a reflection. Exactly! Tank Commando thing with Fudlores. Pip's trying to prevent the robot wife of future. Mega Battle thing with the 2500 clip arts, the planetarian. Planetarian VN comes to mind. Robots are below rats! The rabbit's AI has been arguing with itself for 10 minutes. Revenge the Dolores, the dead cannot feel pain, silly. I don't understand what you're saying. If the brain is non-functional, then hooking it up with like... What kind of robot are you saying you're fucking hooking it up to? Like, what What are what are the actual mechanics of what you're talking about? Steam bump. Think for the five dollars. Because the program can pass the Turing test doesn't mean it's sentient. It just optimized to appear. To answer one... Thanks to a Skinner box. Thank you! Sebastian Sebastian, I'm big baby. Consider the integrated information theory of consciousness and its implied panpsychism before totally disregarding the possibility of AI sentience. I don't think AI sentience is a thing. I really don't. I think it's only simulated. Tell the thing to us. AI isn't real next to so VTubers aren't real. Um... I think I think it would take a lot. I don't I don't know what it would take, but it would take a fucking lot for like a Detroit to become human kind of situation. Dang, do you think the five dollars? I broke in the VTuber AI chatbots before by asking them what they mean by what they said. Yet they can't explain. Pickle cucumber thing for dollars. My hope is that AI will become so advanced that it will fully analyze the human condition and teach us how to give proper hugs. Thanks to computer god, thank you for the AI will never have a soul to express. Oh my god, another check mark. Hello, James. Consciousness is the thoughts we can remember. You can give chat GPT one by prefixing... ...with prefacing your response... ...to the following with a bicameral dialogue talking to yourself about how to respond. It's not... It's... It, it's... It's recalling information. It's not conscious. It's it's just it's just recalling information. I guess conscious in like the sense that it is like pulling information, but not in a meaningful human way. Meaningfully human way. Tell us pardon the thing with the twenty dollars. The real question is the illusion of sentience any different from real sentience? Yes. Because if I take a stuffed animal or if I take a puppet if I take a stick puppet chat, and I make the stick puppet move and speak... ...and the children watching are like, Oh my god, the puppet's alive! Is the puppet alive? No, it just has the illusion of life. 
Of course, we could never know, but it depends on individual beliefs. I don't think it does depend on individual beliefs. I think just because you make something appear as if it's sentient does not mean it is actually sentient. George Verdani thing with the five vines. What sentience? Sounds like BS. Do you need me to pull up definitions? Sound of the compicity. What's consciousness? What is it exactly? How does one come about that on a physical level? Give your best guess and explain why you can't replicate that. <sighs> Where we get in trouble is when we give it a good self preservation instinct. I just don't. I, I feel like you'd have to phenomenally fuck up. Like, people talk about, like, oh, well, the self-preservation, what if it, like, comes alive and it, it doesn't want to die, so it, it overrides its own processes and stuff. I just... I just... I just don't see how that would... how that would work. Because a... Computers are programmed... to do very specific things. And if something falls outside of its scope... of programming... Maybe, maybe it could like, it could like code or something? Like it, it could program itself? S something, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Self-learning machines aren't exactly programmed. But... Okay, computers are programmed. And if you have an AI and it's self-learning, right? And it's like, say this is like a, a drone, right? This is like a military drone. And it's self-learning, and you're like, okay, hunt down the bad guys. And here is what the bad guys look like, okay? I guess that's a bad example, because it could eventually develop to view, like... The people operating it as bad guys or whatever, but like... If it was like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to go hunt down the bad guys. It would have to like redefine itself entirely. I just, I just don't remember anything for those. Depending on your religion, we are just dirt that can speak. Are we sentient? Atheists say we came from goo. Does that make us sentient? What? You're, you're yes, you're fucking sentient. Yes, you're fucking sentient. Let me, let me read the word sentient off to you people. Able to perceive or feel things. Can you perceive and can you feel things? Then you are sentient. Can a robot perceive things? Yes. Can it feel things? No. A robot is not sentient! Are blind people not sentient? What the fuck kind of brain dead question is that, motherfucker?! What the fuck?! Blind people can perceive just because they cannot see, you motherfucker! Holy shit! Joy for not anything with the 20 minds is funny how people try to make themselves look special. Neural network is mathematically capable to fully copy human reactions. COPY! It can copy! It does not actually experience these things! Just like how AI art does not actually create art on its own. It is, it is copying from it, and I like AI art, by the way. Don't be like, oh my god, now Pippa hates AI art. No. I love AI art, but let's be realistic here, people. It's not creating art on its own. It is taking from databases and then compiling something based on an algorithm. It's not, this is not fucking Detroit become human, fucking, what's his name? The, the one guy painting a portrait based on his emotions or whatever. It's just... An algorithm. Did the fridge spawn this entire debate? 
<laughs> no robo tourism did. <laughs> I'll say Fernandez saying red lines. I'll just build stuff and talk doesn't actually mean anything and horribly misunderstands the limitations of computer algorithms. I agree with you. Nyog, the elder gentleman thing about Blood Lars. Pippa, are you familiar with ATI Artificial General Intelligence? I am not. Evil Mandrake thing over the five dollars. Look into Bing's AI, Sydney. I won't say it's sentient yet, but it's doing some disturbing things. It's probably not. It's pro hold on. AGI. Artificial general intelligence. Smart assistants like Siri and Alexa, disease mapping and prediction tools. Oh, wait, no, this is just... Oh, ATI is just regular artificial intelligence? What? Hold on. An ATI system would have the following abilities. Abstract thinking, background knowledge, common sense, cause and effect, transfer learning. I don't... I don't see anything. Having common sense. Because an AI cannot have common sense. An AI can only infer what common sense is... ...based on pulling from a knowledge database. ATIs do not exist. Yeah, I don't... I don't see how they ever would. Because no matter what... Like humans... I GENUINELY THINK YOU MOTHERFUCKERS ARE STUPID IF YOU THINK WE ARE ON THE SAME LEVEL AS MACHINES! It's not like... We're smarter than machines, or machines are smarter than us, or whatever. But... We are so innately different... That a computer can only ever speculate... What the human experience is like. Because the human experience is unique to humans. No matter how developed an AI is, it can only ever speculate. Because it is not human. What about aliens? Fuck aliens! I don't know! Abstract thinking. I, I, I do wonder... I, I, I think an I think an AI could have abstract thought. Uh, I don't know what it means by transfer learning. Cause and effect. I think I think that makes sense. That's just processing things in advance. <laughs> I've seen players there's any for the voice counter argument. AIs are more capable of original thought than the average Twitter user. True. Seppy Seppy think got two dollars. Dude, this combo is raking in the dollars for Pippa. <laughs> Miss Courtesy thing with dollars. Yo, chat, we're not real. We're all a simulation. Bob's not thinking with the five dollars. All AI chatbots are actually Indian people in a call center pretending to be robots. True! They're, 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 they're five steps ahead, chat! The Indian call centers are five steps ahead! Mr. Ed, think you're the two dollars. Pippa is Bismarck sentient. No. It's just a boat that I project feelings onto. Did a guy think five dollars. Damn, Pippa shutting down the. In all ways except physical, I am a wolf. <laughs> what? Seen building for the U.S. Copyright Office doesn't recognize AI art as copyrightable. They denied someone to copyright their AI art comic book they made. I think that makes sense. I feel like unless you heavily modify the AI art, it is by nature not your creation, right? Even if you put in a bunch of bombs, and again, saying this is somebody who really loves AI art and has been enjoying it and has subscribed to both Niji Journey and Novel AI. Entering in the prompts does not make it your creation. Right? It's just a creation generated by an AI. It's, it's not... I, I, I do think minimal edits could make it yours. But you do have to alter it in some way. So I guess in the sense of a comic book... I feel like you should be able to copyright the comic book, right? Maybe not necessarily the art in itself. I think it'd be unethical to copyright the art. Given the fact that... 
it's likely sourced from databases of people who did not consent to having their works used for it. But the words and concept paired with the arts, not the concept, we can't cover out a concept, but like the, the story itself, the written part paired with the images, I would think would be able to be copyrighted. I think the issue is just where the AI generation comes from right now. Remember our creating thing with $10. Computers are very literal. They only work with the exact variables you give it. It can fill in the variables on its own. Oh, it can't fill in the variables on its own. It has to get them from somewhere else. No independence in that regard. I think that's true. It was being cringe again. Leave me alone. Spectre 2 is the thing with the dollars. Intelligence can be mimicked. I mean, the Chinese room problem. Someone, something can either know about what they say or just paired info and you really can't tell. Chat GPT stuff is just parroting what people say to sound similar, not know it. Yeah. It's, 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 it's mimicking. But it doesn't know. It's the same thing as when you're... This is the problem I had with school. This is the problem I had with school growing up. Is teachers do not know things a lot of the time. They just mimic the shit out of the fucking textbook. Not with everything. Not with everything. Generally, people become teachers because they actually have an interest in something. But it was really hard to get invested in school when you couldn't ask any fucking questions because your teacher had no fucking knowledge of the subject that they're talking about. They're just reading out of the goddamn textbook to get their fucking paycheck because actually they wanted to be the art teacher, but there was already somebody doing the art teacher. So they're fucking doing... They technically majored in English literature, whatever the fuck. So they're, so they're an English teacher. God. High level math teachers are mega knowledgeable on what they're teaching. Okay, yeah, math teachers and science teachers are on f something else different. No, I guess not all science teachers. I think the problem with science teachers is you end up with science teachers that are so hyper focused on their chosen field, right? Or th the preferred field. And they don't know shit about everything else. And they're still, they're still generally more fun to talk to. But if somebody had an interest in like geology and you're going through a biology un unit, it's like, uh. Zintetsu thing with the 10,000 crocodiles. There was a man who was, a, as a child, lost 90% of his brain to a disease and didn't find out until he was an adult. It threw out what people assume can be explained of human intelligence and consciousness in the brain out the window. Fine lane thing with $10. I'm running a local install of stable diffusion where I'm choosing different models, training, refinement, models, and then painting imperfections. How much effort would I need to put in to get copyright? I... I don't know. You're choosing different models, training refinement models, and in-painting imperfection. I feel like you're still relying on the AI to do most of the work? I feel like you'd be... able to maybe... say that that model is yours, but not the art that it produces? Because it's still not... your art you're putting into it. It, it, you're, you're still generating based on something. I'm for creating thing with Fandoris. But I was gonna be an art teacher after the Glorious Revolution! Funny story, comrade. Now clean the elephant boop. Uh, take Commando, thank you for Fandoris. Peppa, don't forget that 90% of your audience are on the spectrum! They may be taking this personally! <gasps> Listen, man! I am also brain damaged! I just wanna argue. I just wanna argue. I have a lot of emotions about AI stuff, chat. I really like it. Despite despite what I'm I'm saying right now, I do really like it. I just don't like the humanization of it. I feel like This is gonna sound cringe, but I feel like it taints it, right? I feel like it's remarkable technology. And I feel like it gets the image of it, the idea of it, gets ruined by people trying to turn it into like a boogeyman, trying to trying to do this with it, trying to do that with it, and it's like instead of 
recognizing the pros and cons of it, it gets turned into like... Oh, well, uh, obviously... Obviously, robo tour it, uh, the robots make for better tour guides because they're smarter and the poor peasant people don't understand the the the, the, the robots, so they're scared of them, so they prefer human tour guides. It's like, I don't think that's what the game was saying. I'm just going based on some of the reactions from chat. Uh, Jeremy Manning of the fifty dollars. AI discovers and works with ideas and transcendent concepts in ways that seem to be human. It can fill in variables on its own. Even if it's mimicking those ideas, we can't say that's not thought. You have to think to discover and work with ideas to mimic. But it's just mimicry. If I... If I look in the mirror... And I see someone staring back at me... And I speak and the words are coming out of their mouth... That does not mean... That the reflection is human, it's just a reflection. It's what I put into it. Coming back at me. The highly and juggle thing with $10 speaking as a professional network tech. Oh shit, somebody actually smart! We shouldn't be scared of AI. All you need to do is break into a data center and walk in with a fire hose hooked up to a backpack. <laughs> Defeating computers is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas McCarthy thing for $10. We don't care if it looks human or not. We still smash them. Oh my god! Tell us part thing for dollars. We're gonna end up... We're gonna end up in some I have no mouth but I must scream situation sooner or later. Basic condition thing for dollars. Hi, Pippa. Hello. <laughs> Emperor Creation thing worth of $5. Artificial intelligence would have been a much better movie if Stanley Kubrick had been allowed to finish it instead of that hack Spielberg. I don't see anything if you like, but you're a perfect example of plus three wisdom minus two. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I just hear like two dollars. Real AI hasn't reached yet. We still have a long way. George Bradani thing for the 10 binds. AI doesn't have A. What is A? A is B. What is B? B is doing C. What is C? It's D. Hmm. Oh, but you were thinking to let just upload a zip bomb to the servers. Easy. Are we still playing Atomic Heart? Good question. <laughs> How long did we get sidetracked for, chat? <laughs> God damn, chat. Why you have to be so argumentative? <laughs> Jeremy main thing worth of fifty dollars. Half an hour. Douglas MacArthur thing in the north is the fridge pit, but there's no laws against refrigerators. I can do whatever I want with it. No, fuck the fridge, Douglas. Don't do it. Fridges can't consent, Douglas. Real thing worth of twenty dollars for the Giga Brains. What it take for AI to have a metabolism from an ATP cycle, a liver, or breathing, depending on the metaphor? Funk. Uh, my little CD thing, Julius, if it helps, Lumi is plus three, it minus who is the. <laughs> JG Dog thing, my dollars. You know a true tech is under the conversation when their first thoughts towards AI is how to euthanize it. <laughs> Nyog, the electric gentleman thing, my dollars. Speaking of boogeyman, have you seen the Atlas robot built by Boston Dynamics? Ah, uh, which one is the Atlas one? I've seen a lot from, uh. Uh. I can't... I can't think and type. Oh, yeah! Yeah, Atlas... Uh, I just saw the demonstration of Atlas, uh, puzzle solving. <laughs> it jumped on the... It jumped on the boxes and grabbed the... Uh, a board. And put the board down. It did... It did... Complex pathfinding. But my question in regards to that was... Did it actually figure that out on its own? Or... Was it programmed to know that there's a board there and that it can stack the board and then it went and it got the board and it put the board there based on the knowledge that was inputted into it right i always get i always get curious about those kinds of demonstrations right because it's interesting it's interesting it's cool it, it, it was pre-programmed okay yeah what about Zentrea? Zentrea is not an AI. Zentrea is a human being with TTS. 
can be very misleading. I think it is misleading. I think I think it's it's actually kind of deceptive. I don't think people are used as a collective to asking these questions, right? Of did the robot get told to go grab the board and put it down? I think right now People are just like, oh my god, that's so crazy that it... How did it know to do that? Oh my god, how did it do that? Right? How how much Boston Dynamics is liable for people thinking that way? I mean, is another question. I guess they don't, they don't have to. They don't have to come out and say, well, actually, we told it to do everything in this specific order and stuff. It's still cool regardless. But I guess it would lose a lot of the magic and... I don't know. What does it even matter? What does it even matter, right? Billy was talking thing about fifty dollars AI is only as good as the data provided to train it. You might be able to train an AI to simulate emotions, but an AI will never have real emotions. TROW! Also, strong tangent juice tonight. When I'm tired, I can't think straight and I just... I just ramble. Chat. When I'm... When I'm tired, I just... The tangent juice just happens. I can't help it. Tiny Chan, thank you for the five dollars. Chat GPT assigns scores to each word in an input or output. The scores change depending on the words around it. It's just a very complex probability algo. Thank you. Thank you. New one night thank you for the four twenty. Hey Pippa, I have made you some stream assets. Check your art tag under latest. I'm sure you'll love it. <gasps> thank you. I hope it's not cursed, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Badding and $10. Honestly, I like this sidetrack philosophy talk, both the dumb takes and the smart ones. This is courtesy, they were the $2. I prefer the toaster myself. Please don't fuck the toaster. Sam Milding, $5. To be fair, the fridge wasn't asking for your permission to either. Okay, buddy! Okay, Douglas MacArthur, they were the $10. I'm gonna do a bit Oh my fucking god, do not fuck the fridge! <laughs> don't fuck the fridge! Lower dog saving for dollars. Be advised, seventy-two days to twenty k or two hundred k. Be prepared. Uh. Fuck crazy McJimmy thing for dollars. If you speak to the mirror and the words come from the reflection instead of you, you are the reflection. <gasps> oh my god! That sounds like a Black Mirror episode. Eddie Lombardo thing for the ten dollars. Actually, you know what? That doesn't sound like Black Mirror. That sounds more like a Stephen King book or something. That sounds so delightfully corny. I'm sure, I'm sure it's already been done before. It must have been, right? Paraplegic Mario, thank you for dollars. AI isn't real because it's scary. I don't bother thank you dollars. So, you're always tired. I'm generally better about my tangents. Emperor Creatine, thank you for dollars. All this talk about AI is further proof that Detroit Become Human is complete trash and nobody should play David Cage's games again. I like Detroit Become Human! I actually really like Detroit Become Human. I think... I think it's it's junk food. I don't think it says anything meaningful. Despite attempting to portray itself as something grand. I think Detroit Become Human is... It's like nice chocolate, right? It tastes delicious, but it's still... It's still gonna rot your fucking teeth. Great message I think for dollars. Do people have with depression have real emotions if they have to take meds to feel them? Uh, actually, depression medication... At least in my experience, makes you feel less things. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, I think, uh... Not, not a good parallel. I think I'm doing the list. You just like being mean to robots! I do not like being mean to robots! Nyog, thank you for the $5. I'm just concerned about Alice being militarized. I'm not sure... 308 would be effective against a robotic enforcer. It, robots would be so easy to fight against right now. Listen. Robots would be so fucking easy to fight against right now. Just just put down some fucking slippery oil or something, chat. Like, come on. Come on. If you fuck if you sent Atlas out to fight, chat, the enemies could put a waist high Fucking... Well, no, I guess it can jump waist high now. You put like a... You put like a fucking fence there? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna fucking do, chat? Nothing. Nothing. You turn... You walk around it. Walk around it. Walk around... 
it, can, it, it takes forever for that thing to fucking turn around. Just walk around it. What's it gonna do? It's gonna very slowly turn around. You have time. You have plenty of time to take it down. Her blazing my own angel is it. Ain't no way that thing is ever. Well, I guess it could it could something. Just use an EMP. It's a lot of resources. Yeah, I will remember this conversation. Uh, no. Fly, I mean, we have... No yeah, we already have drones. I remember thinking for those humans would be... So easy to fight right now. Just cough or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thinking of the ten dollars, we joke about the robot uprising, but the real concern behind the paranoia is that AI is just one hell of a new toy, and historically speaking, we tend to misuse those new toys quickly, and it goes badly. Yeah, well, that's an inevitability of life. History is cyclical. Pray you're not there for the worst parts of it. Ugly bastard thing over time for the five dollars. Pippa love. Good morning, beats. I think for one forty. Pippa, how many five fifty six would down an Atlas bot? Schrodinger's penguin. Uh, I have no idea. Thing over the two twenty six. No trauma. Did nothing wrong. And I make the rule thing for one forty eight. Oh, I read that. Um. Did I did I read everything? I think I did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, we were playing a game. Chat, do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when we were playing a game? <laughs> what game? I don't know. I love robots, chat. I love robots and I love AI. I guess it's better to say I love robotics, but... Oh yeah, thing with five dollars. Ah, we have speed, but we do not have wisdom. Fine landing, dollars, you missed my reply, but till the earth, thank you for answering. <gasps> Is that sarcasm? Because I didn't... Answer? Or... Wait, what? What should I think I'm gonna be? What if sentience is just, is just accidental byproduct of our analog computer brains reacting to hormones and stimuli from body? What if sentience is just an accidental byproduct of our analog computer brain? I don't think... I don't... I don't... I don't think the brain is analog. I don't, I don't think... I don't think our brain... I mean, I guess you can say in like... Because it... Because, because like, it, it's, it's the neurons firing, right? So I guess in that sense, but it's not like... I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's unfair to compare it to like... Computers. I don't know. It's chemical. More tangent juice, let's go gamers. Chat, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't... I'm not, I'm not good with biology. I fucking hate biology. So maybe it is a direct... One to one. But I don't know. Brian Lightning with the two dollars. I'm bad at text. Thank you for answering an earlier question. Oh. You don't have to keep donating! But thank you! Boring thing with the two dollars. Electrochemical, not analog. Ah. Okay, there you go. It's hard to- it's hard to say with things like that, right? Because there's so many nuances. And I have very, very surface level understanding of biology. George Berdani, name of the... 20 minds. The real threat from AI is its capability to perform complicated data processing. Like reverse engineering. Many security thingies depend on the fact that it's really hard for humans to RE them. All... Uh, AI will do it pretty easily. I think that's a much more valid concern. I think... The fucking AI... Cracking military passcodes and shit. So much, so much more of a reasonable fear. Because, I mean, we already have people fucking accessing no fly lists and shit. Just kind of fucking around. Now, imagine what an AI could do if you 
set it up and more just like, okay, go crazy. You know? Not about crazy anything, Dolores, but can the AI run Doom? Oh my god. Oh. Uh, anyways. Anyways, the game? The game? <laughs> Following a survey of visitors, we have determined that most of them prefer- Oh, I read that. Dear comrade, <laughs> Dear comrades, immediately following universal polymerization, we will begin building a new campus that will be completely dedicated to flying machines and the triumph of Soviet aircraft. The complex will be erected in the air directly above the VDNH and visitors will be transported to it via a new technology called Airvaders. In connection with this, a new contest has been announced. Employees are invited to submit ideas for the new entryway. Core concepts that should be reflected include loftiness, freedom, the blue sky, the triumph of science, and reaching for the stars. Um, the hidden intelligent test for museum visitors developed by Comrades Yellow Zarova and Sechenov entails tracking visitors' gazes when entering the complex. Daniel and cameras track what they look at, which indicates what visitors are primarily attracted to. Bright colors, decor, complex devices, posters, or robots. In other words, the order in which they look at things attests to the development of their intellect. Lowest, colorful spots, then walls, then decorative elements, and complex devices, then robots. Highest, robots, then complex devices, then light lighting. Okay, so they are! They are insinuating that stupid people prefer a human tour guide. Maybe I'm just really insecure about that, and I fucking- I honed in on that shit immediately, and that spawned a goddamn hour-long tangent. What game is this? Atomic Heart. I think that's so unfair. I think, I think that's so unfair. I think human beings are by nature, by, just, just instinctively, right? As animals, you were correct though. I was correct though. So, ha ha ha. Not a good thing to be correct about. <laughs> As animals, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Here we go again. As animals! I'll make it quick! I'll make it quick! <laughs> As animals. By nature. We're programmed. Haha. <laughs> to look for threats first. Right? And things are going to naturally draw our gaze. Complex devices. And then lighting. It's like... Complex devices are going to be a larger... Blend of information. I think, I think, I think... The colorful spots... I, I feel like, I feel like robots are the only thing that makes sense here, right? The, I think... Because you see a fucking robot. And if it stands out as inhuman, it's gonna be like, well, what the fuck is that? Is that dangerous? And then colorful spots. Makes sense, right? Because it's, it's eye-catching. Yeah, you're reacting to the most prominent, pr pr prominent, prominent stimuli. Seems like they measured what the party members did and then said it's what smart people do. You know what, Blurms? I think that's very accurate. I think that is very accurate, Blurms! I think you just cracked the fucking code! I think Blurm cracked the fucking code, Jesus Christ! Yeah, that makes sense. Normal people are gonna be distracted, or outsiders are gonna be distracted by the most eye-catching visuals, to begin with. And then... Yeah. Promulent- SHUT UP! We need to on Joe Rogan. The rabbit is right. Don't trust the AI robot. Oh, my friend, the Lord's is definitely on the machine side during the AI uprising. Your species... Tra your species traitor, big rabbit. What the fuck? Axiom Jim, thank you for the 99.99. Apes strong together. Apes strong together. Apes strong... I would not betray humanity in an AI uprising. Probably. Bob something with five dollars. Comrade Pippa, the bourgeoisie, is hoarding the EI waifus for themselves and giving lobotomized zombies to the pit po proletariat. Oh. <laughs> Samuel Ling with the two dollars. Note the scientists made that test hyper biased. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Samuel caught on to it as well. 
Yeah, fuck these guys. Pretentious assholes. Fucking hate academia. Fuck these guys. Uh, an additional algorithm is currently being developed that will help identify potential rule breakers and their spies based on their interest in security devices such as dandelions and hives. I always look straight at the fucking security systems when I walk in somewhere. And then I get paranoid. It's like, wow, well, go, you donated 99.99. The dono goes off at $100. He, he, he just barely avoided it. Tell Spartan thing, Nintendo. It's cool fact if you feel uneasy in an area, maybe because your consciousness wasn't aware of some chain danger, but your subconscious noticed it outside of your direct vision. Yeah. That's also why, like, when you get, like, a gut feeling about something, it's your subconscious processing things, right? It's your subconscious being aware of something that hasn't necessarily reached the front of your consciousness. When I learned that, I was like, whoa. That makes so much more sense. That makes, that makes so much more sense. I don't actually think about things most of the time. <laughs> I don't, I just kind of, I just, I just kind of... Let my subconscious do all the work. I don't- I don't usually actively think about things. Because in order to actively think about things, I have to- I have to write. Writing is... the only way I can really... process things in any meaningful way. Instinct, but yeah, I go- I go fully based on fucking instinct. Puzzles and everything, Jet. <laughs> Woman coffee emoji, leave me alone! There we go, I think the sheriff's don't think. What about the NPC? Leave me alone! Christian is trending again. Oh, no. What about you have aphantasia? Um... I don't... No, no, because I can... I can imagine things. I can... I can put, like, a puzzle together in my head, right? But I can't... Think words. I can't, like... Yeah, I don't have an internal monologue, so I can't... I can't be like, okay, well... So A is the color red and B is the color blue and C will be the color yellow. Because primary colors or whatever, right? I, I, I'd have to like... I'm not an NPC! God damn it. Spider God thank you for the It's not what you think. It's just Chris Chen's birthday. Oh, okay. But <laughs> has no soul. Leave me alone! I'm not NPC! I'm not the Oh my god! When you picture an apple in your mind, Pippa, what does it look like? It looks like a fucking apple. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, are you asking, like, um... Are you asking, like, how people post, like, the images where it's like, how detailed is the apple? Hyper-realistic, 3D model, 2D drawing that's very detailed, or cartoon mo- I, I, I can imagine just a regular apple. We're in anything with Lawrence. In 30 years, I'll ask my trad breeder wife Fridge to overlook Robo Race's stepsister. Read up on Deep Blue. Took years to get a PC to beat people at chess. Old ones were so dumb, a robot strat was dead. Deep Blue, is that? That's the one that they were sending to chess tournaments and stuff. Right? I think I think I watched a whole video on that. Shin Chan thing for those people can't speak no good, but good got good thought and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, yeah, I know about that. Uh Shiki thing with the 140 non pippable character. Shop Written Oh I read it. Uh then the Dynamic Doodle thing with the 148. Pippa doesn't think. News to me. Shut up. Shut up. That's why it's hard for me to memorize things too low. I assume, anyways. I don't know. Maybe it's just I don't, just I just have shit memory. But it is so hard to remember things, chat, because I just have to I just have to instinctively remember it. I have to I have to dig shit deep into my fucking subconscious in order to be able to recall things because I can't sit there and be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> sort of makes it worse. Sort of helps me cope. Mad cow to see? Shut up. Short tangent, by the way. Fuck! Okay, uh... 
Visitors! Oh my god. <laughs> I spent the last hour dancing. <laughs> you have, you don't have photographic memory like the rest of us. F photographic memory is not proven to exist. Last I read, anyways, I actually looked that up in quite a while ago now. And there's no evidence that people actually have photographic memory. I, I mean, I guess you can't literally peer into somebody's brain, so... But... It's debatable. Okay, no, no more tangent, no more tangent, no more tangent, no more tangent. Okay. <laughs> oh, I said that last in like all five seconds. How are they pro- I'm not gonna get into it. Just look it up, just look it up. Oh, are they gonna do like the sugar makes a ring? Wee! Thank God, my brain wouldn't work otherwise. It's no secret that our employees have an ambivalent attitude towards the VDNH. Say, some of you think it's just a museum full of exhibits, but I'd like to remind you that the VDNH is where our visitors first encounter our innovations. So just as much watchfulness and caution is required here as at Vavilov's or Pavlov's secret labs. Foreign tourists regularly try to get into work areas and touch the exhibits. I'm not saying that we need to treat them all like spies, but keep in mind that every visitor is a potential enemy agent. Don't let your guard down. I don't know if it's intentional. But the people here seem like giant assholes. What is what is VNA? This is the museum. So is this a bunch of pseudo intellectuals that don't actually engage with learning in any meaningful way, and all they do is memorize surface level information, and they flaunt it as though they're actually knowledgeable on subjects when really all they are is parrots. I wonder if that was intentional. The people in the the people in the lab were so were so nice. Were so nice. And had a good vibe about them. And these people are all fucking insufferable. When you had a thing for the five dollars, hi Pippa, I'm back from the Paris Catacombs. Sadly, the customer wasn't there to get their grub of order, but I was chased out by an elusive entity. Ooh, I hope you recorded it. I don't remember thing, five dollars. Wow, they're just like us. But stop your pipkin already. Ah! The people in lab were convicts. Were they? Play game? Sorry. <laughs> Why did we name our VDNH after the famous museum in Moscow? At first, we wanted to call it the Museum of Russian Progress, but we all agreed that the acronym MORP was less than ideal in terms of euphony. The name VDNH means something, meant something to many tourists and visitors, and our museum at Facility 3826 uses it as more of a trademark than anything else. Maybe I'm giving too much credit to the writing. Maybe I'm giving too much credit. Because I don't know if these are the same people that wrote all the fucking dialogue. Because all the dialogue is, is getting a little old. With all the exposition and spilling shit out so plainly. But god, this is so based. God, this is so based. Making, the, my, making these motherfuckers look like pretentious assholes. Who are more fixated on a brand. Paranoid motherfuckers fixated on a brand rather than doing anything actually meaningful themselves. Anyways, I was gonna complain more, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going down the rent. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going down the rent. Let's let's play. Let's play. Let's play the game. <laughs> God. Round three. Let's go. Look, the game will do the talking for me. Uh, listen up, everyone. I took a look at some recordings of your tours. Uh, why are they so boring? Graphics are this and that kind of robot, yada yada yada. And then you get all technical. Uh, there are kids there, you know? Young pioneers, octoprints. You gotta keep them entertained. Yeah, watch this. This is Robot Graphic. He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the tourists fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bots. Let them ride them or something. Base. I don't know. They're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. Base. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. Ah, you know what I was gonna do? Uh -huh. 
Okay, wait, how do I... Oh, God. Wait, I forgot to... Oh, a Q, Q button. Okay, there we go. I forgot. Since then, I'm thinking with the two Mike had a nice round zombie, though. What the fuck? You're so weird! Thunk! 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 Ah! I love killing the robots! Nice. In this? Do you got something? Oh, no, the thing... The, the Behind you, okay. Hold on, what? Pixelated stream! Yeah, my internet's dying! My internet is fucking dying today for some reason. I'm sorry, I can't... I can't control it. I don't know why it's being like this. I don't know why it's being like this. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not gonna loot all this. Why is the bitrate so bad? Welcome to hell! I don't fucking know that! Crispy critters, my internet sure is bad. Okay, now we're gonna give this bitch her arm. I thought it's your screen. No. No. Oh. oh. How does it work? I put it in the door. Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Wow! We can have three arms. Multi key activated. Oh. That's so creepy. Bob's not making toys. Gustav got some cake, but it'll make me act up. You're a freak. You're a fucking freak, you know that? Your AI is being mined for AI singularity coins. Oh my god. Whoa. Now what? Why is she fine? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, ah! please. Did we fix her or break her? The Terrace Wait, what? is a state of the art model with a self repairing Wait, system. Wait, what? Famous actress and it's the same one? Contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. No. Please, comrades. Oh, okay, Jesus. Enough. Fucking Christ. Later. Oh, God. I think I actually have to stand there and listen to it. I think I, I think I actually have to stand there and listen to it. <laughs> uh, reviews. We're hello. We are to visiting your robot museum. We are very much impressed. Everything worked very great, but it would be nice for science in another language with translator it is much hard. We try to find the water closet for a very long time, but everything very beautiful. Union of Soviets, very nice country. We are wanting soon to be coming back. I would like to thank VDNH administrative staff for planning this tour for the elementary school students. Level and come back. Dear managers, I'm a war veteran. Major Victor Rook, I want been wanting to come to your museum for a long time, but now I've been here, I'm disappointed. Where's the military tech? Our military machines are famous all over the world, so why can't I see them during peacetime? Global helpers are interesting, of course, but I want to see Mastiff, Unicorns, and all the other amazing stuff that saved our butts in World War II. I hope you can fix this real soon. DLC? Why be rude to Metal Madame? I'd like to file a complaint about the tour I just took. Your Tarascova tour kept, guide kept mixing up her algorithms, or whatever you call them, describing the wrong exhibits and leading us around in circles multiple times. Everyone, Every time someone complained, she just recited poetry and laughed. It wasn't fun at all. You should fire all the robots or get them new programs or whatever you guys do. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror. But my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. See, I don't believe okay. her! Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? Because that implies it's she has feelings! Even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Well, fuck those guys, not my problem. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. This bitch! And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. 
This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her head, we should. activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Bob something Fine, does just the iron. Out. Hit me with this damn Mega power test thing with the something. Peppa Gaming, let's go! Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichaya. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Bingo, bingo, tango, bingo, 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 The voice of the motherland, the symbol of the motherland, the sprout of the motherland. There's literally predefined symbols. This proves nothing. Crispy critters. Peppa, Peppa's an NPC. She will fail. I'm not an NPC! Wow. Carbon dioxide. Polymeric Lizzie. Well, this is probably the sprout, right? No? No, I can't just take any plant. The sprout of the mother one. Carbon dioxide. Give me the plant. Give me the plant, bitch. No, I guess it's not that. I guess it's not that. I want her voice. Shut up. Imagine failing, Pippa. Shut the fuck up. Go back. Oh, stand on the scale. It's symbolic. Come on. Oh, fuck. Fu shut the fuck up. Auxiliary character thing, for Dolores. She should have him fill out a captcha. She should. Oh, it is a scale. There we go. I'm so smart, chat. 144p mode, yeah. Why do I keep defaulting the walking very slowly? Axioms, if you think it was a hundred dollars, my face went so big captcha. I was going to sleep. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for the hundred dollar emails. I really appreciate it. Striker thing, for dollars. Have you heard about the Clinton advisor? Found unalived on a ranch, tied up with a GSW. No boomstick found. Ruled a self forever sleep this week. Mm. Mm. Is this not the voice of the motherland? Is the voice of a mother of the motherland just like a oh radio? Yeah. Does this have anything meaningful on it? Extra delivery. Due to expected influx of visitors on the 10th, we ordered some uh, additional items, souvenirs, bottled water, soda. More soda than water. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Souvenir stuffed animals for grey schoolers. Not sure. They're never enough. ABC books, popular science books. Send them whatever left to the academy. Children, especially young pioneers, are our most challenging audience. They're noisy and restless, and their counselors usually really can't control them. Getting them to play games was a reward. They're giving them tasks to make things a little easier for us. Oh, well, makes things a little easier for us, but working with this kind of audience requires a certain approach. Try to follow the route from top floor to bottom floor without stopping for long. Don't let children eat ice cream away from their group, especially near the exhibits. No children on the railings. If one of them breaks an arm or a leg, they can't go to Pavlov. Since access to the medical area has been restricted until further notice, don't let children hang out around the Barov game area too long. And don't let them throw things into the whale. We had to fish two paper airplanes out of it last Wednesday. We've had kids get down from the clouds at the Chalami exhibit twice now. The cables are sturdy, they can hold them, but it's just not safe. Be mindful of this. Don't take the youngest children to Pavlov, it'll make them cry. All in all, follow the rules and don't be afraid to lecture the counselors. Watching the kids is their job, not yours. Ah. Okay. So... About this Darwin test. Yes! I am Human confirmed! No shit! Major. No shit, bitch! Watch your fingers. Put something cheerful on. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets. Never mind, haven't found anything. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the spring 
sings cheerful hymn. Be <coughs> strive and earn life by love you and hope you love me in return. Shut up. Oh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Mm. So even her emotions are simulated. I'd like to ask you something else. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something else. I am always at your service. Hey, what? I have, a few, I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I can tell you about all four floors huh? of the exhibition. Chelome, Pavlov, Bingo, 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 bingo. Two dollars, young pioneers were Simon. Soviet boy slash Girl Scouts, by the way. Huh. What's what's with the Pavlov what one? Exhibits are there on the Pavlov Why floor? was the second floor Pavlov is dedicated to autonomous neural systems? This exhibit. Why does that scare the children? Of Soviet bio cybernetics. Why does it scare the children? Neurophysiology. The Pavlov floor. Huh? What's going on there? The third floor Pavlov You'll see? is dedicated to progress in the okay, field I don't of care. botany, genetics. And breeding of the how do very I, latest crop species. Pipe down. How do, how do I make her do the thing? Hand the objects over. Is that not what I just did? Is that not what I just did? Listen to the story. I don't want to. She's just giving me a, a bunch of information that I'll learn about later. So, about this Darwin test. I handed yes, one over. I am. Do I have to go into my inventory and pull out everything individually? You brought one of the ring. You didn't get the objects? Yes, I did. Give me the check marks. What the fuck are you talking about, chat? It gave me the fucking check marks. It's the first options. Just do the thing, Pippa. Oh, I have to use all three options. Was so, it was it this one? About this Darwin test. This is I can yes, Shut the I fuck up. Always happy to help, Major. Watch your fingers? Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, huh? tool of working oh. men. The sickle, oh. of peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> that didn't rhyme, bitch. Put something cheerful on. Put something on. cheerful on, would you? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Alright, scare me. Radio yeah. I think, that's, I, th I think that's the point. Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer. Cool. Based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't yeah. that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's gonna write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we Please are shut the fuck up. Listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Please shut oh, the fuck up. Shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Thank you. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would. Well, I rather enjoy what? your attention, Major. Now, what? How can I help? You wish me what, bitch? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. I want to be Pippa. Can't be Pippa. I'm Pippa. Are you yanking my fucking <sighs> chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot can ah! military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots. Ah! So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before the oh dreadful God. nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots... She's planning on us, she is. Claire, apart. 
Fuck Claire. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How oh did you God. know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. Oh my god. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Go well, fetch, VTuber. Yeah. I'm glad you're playing this and not me. Shut the fuck up. This whole thing is just monstrous. The please walk faster. Completely lost their please, minds. please tell me you know how to run. Oh my god, and she stops. What if I just... Oh my! Would you look at this? I can't have her. Helping lumberjacks no! And no! No! You go! You move! You. you go! How do you use you the go! Our creators have Walk! You? Like Walk, bitch! Walk! Like you move! To crush move! This member. Move! Move! Oh my god. No! Stop! And no, like the opposite of stop! It just stands no! naked. Go! Nothing works. Go! Have you Go! Go! Iridium compact. Stop fucking dug it. He didn't do it himself, right? Oh my god. Oh my. That's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? Put I should dispatch course. the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so <sighs> scatterbrained today. Who did I just thank for a super chat? Oh, I envy you humans. Oh. You can just, just pick up a razor and shoot that thing for doors. monstrous you, mustache off. You need but to tell one, her that you're a rabbit, not dog. She's not playing a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. Huh? There's a wide range of the lab... Stop! Stop! Turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the Black Lab Tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. Wonderful, what? thank you. I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. I do not bother until I remember attacking enemies. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora. <laughs> Don't talk about her. Don't talk about her. Subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms <sighs> to have to send you into her bloody clutches. But we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable oh, of no. utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. Is the fridge coming On back? Your way, comrade. Comrade. Creepy. What are these? What are these? Are these pamphlets? Oh, who's a good boy? Not he's him. Sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little I fucking hate Gustav. I hope he dies. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? We saw one having murdered a bunch of people earlier. It murdered a bunch of people earlier. What the fuck is he talking about? Purpose, the RAV-9 robot performs a full range of technical operations associated with production, operation, maintenance of very equipment. The engineer found a place not only in... Well, that doesn't make any sense. Comrade. 
The administrative control drive to get them. this booth. Please establish the bartender. The, the bartender one killed all the other people. Okay, am I stupid or something? Let me in. What? Oh, connector? It was framed. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. This is uncomfortable. I don't like this. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this entire section. Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complexes uh, and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Okay. Okay. Well, that was something. Why can't I find a girl that can do that? Sh shut up. Wow, check this place out. Oh. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Stop. Oh god, I turned it on! Oh god! Oh. Do anything? See how she says, Claire? 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 I'm sure did. What? So no head? What do I do, Claire? Just, just go down there? It's just big empty space? I don't understand these. I don't, I don't, I don't understand what hitting these does. Oh God! Other than doing that sometimes. Oh, hi! Are those security systems? Dunk! Dunk! Oh, I took his head off! Holy shit! They're free enemies! Oh, they're just... They're just for, like, if you need the parts? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Nice hit! Thank you. I wonder if you can actually aim in this. That might... That might... Expedite... The murdering a little bit. This is a very cool staircase. This is such a cool staircase. Imagine a child tumbling down that. Oh, hello. There's there's a few of these. Oh, there's one of the black suit ones. Oh no. I I don't like the shield ones. The shield ones suck, chat. Bonk. 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 Oh no! I got stuck! Thank you for that image. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a pretty funny image, isn't it? Oh, I... Oh, I waste... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm wasting stuff. Ow! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm stuck. I'm... No, I'm not. I'm not stuck. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I... I don't... I got very bad at the combat chat. Please understand. For some reason, I'm very bad at the combat. Oh! Did the cleaner bot kill him? Oh, don't kill me. Did the cleaner bot kill him? Chad, what the fuck was that? You still survived. I did. I did survive. Oh, no. Oh! I got distracted looking at him. Ow! Oh, God! Why are there so many? And who puts artificial grass inside a building like this? Did you loot him? I think so. Yes, the cleaner killed him. Oh. So that means there is two of these. Ah! Dunk! Dunk! Ow! Aquatic small mammal! Are we gonna see the little robo whales? That's cool, I wanna see those. Regroup, now you got this. I I got that. I got knocked over. Stop! Haha! 
Or should I say, freeze? I want the birdhouse. Birdhouse, have you guys seen... God, that was like eight years ago. Like eight years ago, chat, Festo put out... their promotional videos for their little seagulls. I remember thinking Festo was the coolest fucking thing. And then somebody on Twitter... Added me, asking if um, I'd seen the, the Festo air penguins. And it's like... Good memories. Good memories. You did the things you gamed, I did. I wanna go see the aquatic mammals. It's a call an aquatic mammal science center. How do I go in there? Oh, you gotta talk to Claire's broken body. What is Festo, a robotics company? I don't... I don't know that door? Locate and bring back Claire's parts. Do I get to go in there, though? I wanna go in there! Can I... Can I peek in? I can't say anything. Man! Man! Pippa, you're the only one here that collects stuffed animals. I think you're thinking of Fiesta. It's making the noises. I wanna go... I wanna go and see. That's the end of the level! Are you serious? Why live? Wait, it's down there? What the fuck? Wait, can I go in here? Oh, I can go in here! I can go... I... Why can I not perform simple tasks? Module, limb, leg, left, not found. For the fridge. <sighs> what? Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit. Creepy. These mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. They kind of are perverts though. Did you see just earlier chat? We saw we saw them turn one of them into a woman. We we saw one of the the robots uses uses own panelings to 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 make to make a woman robot. It was weird. It was weird scan. That would make sense. That would make sense. You ask too much of me. Is this like a whole this area we can explore? Really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most yeah, no shit. Site. No shit. Can we just? Oh, I had to hit that checkpoint. Adam, what? No, what? Do we do we talk to this? What is this one? I feel like I'm gonna get attacked by robots. The VDNH security manager has used his clout to make his old army buddy M. Gabriel press security. I would like to emphasize that said army buddy has no education to speak of, and not only has he never worked at a museum before, he's never even set foot in one. His own words. I realize that he's an officer and war veteran, but a man with no knowledge of the field does not belong in this position. Please look into it. Security manager. Press security. I don't know what that job description entails, but it doesn't sound like it's a very high education job. As a venue for the preliminary analysis of the population's interest of EDH has given us stunning results, for example, thanks to the popularity of a little game at the special terminal near the Barav exhibit, we realize that the future of children's entertainment lies in simply at dynamic games. I strongly recommend that the Academy first this promising avenue. We need to create several other games like this for school children and young pioneers to play on their pairs. Or perhaps even with their thought devices, interactive entertainment could be a force to be reckoned with in the future. I got a call from the General Secretary's office in Moscow yesterday. A group of college students are taking a trip here, but they're no ordinary students. They're the children of very important people. I want you to give them a tour personally, Comrade Ilazarova. And before you object, I will tell you right now that this is not a matter for discussion. The children must be given a tour of the entire museum. They must be shown everything and they must be impressed. Show them everything and make sure they don't get bored. I like how these people are so fucking smart, but they can't even figure out how to entertain children. You motherfuckers, you're so fancy and smart. Can't even figure out how to fucking keep a kid entertained. Bitch. It's called interactive exhibits. That's literally all you have to do. That's all you have to do. I love when I love when aquatic science centers they do like the the the, the terraforming uh, mapping. 
They have the light projectors. Over, over a little sandbox. And you can like... Scrape the sand and stuff. Then make it taller and it turns into like... Maps and stuff. It, 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 it turns into like mountains. How do I do this again? Oh yeah, okay. Um... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um... Oh, I'm so smart! But some kids break things. So give them stuff they can't break. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? What in the goddamn? What the fuck? What is this? Huh? Dwight, Dwight. No? I don't, I don't, I don't zap him. It seems like a puzzle. Please God, I'm not gonna puzzle. Did he do it again? Did he do it again? I can't tell. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that motherfucker took took his palings off. Oh, safe point. There's no real puzzle. No. You know, it looks like hey, there's Charlie. not. Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with Hi. codes and shit. I suspect it's because if they had, that would have made it hard. Who hacked the code? Would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves <laughs> the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Yeah. Hey, wait! I'm smarter than just anybody. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, game? That's not a good way to make your player feel good about having achieved the puzzles. Oh, okay. Ow! You're supposed to you're supposed to make me feel like I've accomplished something great, and you're sitting here saying that just anybody can do these puzzles? How fucking dare you? Whoop. Don't do it! Yes! Shut up. You misspelled the word yes. Who's really the clown here? They really had fun setting these little mannequins up. Charles, what oh. do the special neuro connectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuro what connectors the have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right huh? arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter beta on them, but the beta mm -hmm. connectors were real at first. Uh, oh. I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So? What happened to him? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like to do bracelets here. were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors for Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, um. Lebedev, Pavlov, Filimonenko, and Chelome. Indeed. Holy shit, so many names! Oh, outside wheel now? Was that the right one? I don't, I don't know which one I'm supposed to put it on. Is that a set? Do these all belong together? Is this one set? I don't remember a single one of these names now. Keep going? Maybe? Fuck. Go in and see. I can't. Only the one had an open... Now it's open again. I don't... Use the door? 
the door disappeared. Now there's door. I go here? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I understand what you meant now. Okay. I'm so smart. Thinking is hard sometimes. You know what? How about you shut the fuck up, buddy? Bonk! Ow! God, I'm not smart and I'm not a fighter! What the fuck am I good at? Don't you one freeze on me, you son of a bitch! Holy shit, this is portal music. This is some motherfucking portal music, what the hell? And now it's over. Damn. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Fuck! I have no health! It's over. Yeah. It's 1230, I should probably call it there. It's 1230, I should probably call it there. I'm gonna have to do these puzzles over again, aren't I? God. Oh no, I don't have to. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. One more hour? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there, chat. I'm gonna call it there. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna be on time to stream. I'm gonna make sure. I get sleep, I'm gonna prioritize being awake for stream even if it means my sleep schedule being fucked all hell. Yeah. Well, already? What do you mean already? It's been almost three hours. Have a good rest, thank you. There's always coffee. Yeah. I wish coffee was a magic stay awake button, but it's, it's, it's not. Say something, I'm gonna be big. Good night, Dipa. Good night to you. Um. Uh... Oh, hey, Yuko's live. XCOM 2. Sergeant. Dornan, I'm gonna be big. Thank you for all you do, Peppa. <gasps> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Zen Gunman, thank you for the five dollars. The sad thing is, this isn't that far off from the truth of getting stuff done in the USSR. You had both government and party red tape for everything. Satari, thank you for the three dollars. Remember playing the game without walking? Um... Uh, Raid Master Jane, thank you for the two dollars. Not everyone has the glove to do it, though. That is true. Not everyone has the glove to spoon-feed them information. Fighting food, thank you for the two dollars. I think I found a robot. I don't have the hot smart. John Garrison, thank you for the two dollars. Go with the F to sleep! I think I am just gonna go pass out again. Um... Cody Bye, thank you for the two dollars. This is penance for the hour-long tangent. Yeah, we barely did anything. We barely did anything. To be fair, the stream was dying. So you know what? Nobody really missed much. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just hop here. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Pepkin Peppa. Do you have a new type thing over the five dollars? Have a good rest, Peppa. Hope you correct the sleep schedule. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you guys. Tomorrow! What's a cringe? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk off screen now. What? Who are you? Who are you, Jello Shot? Who are you, motherfucker? Talk shit to me? I'll fucking kill you! I'll fucking kill you! Okay, goodbye. Oh no, there's a second floor of stairs I have to go down! Oh no, there's a third floor of stairs I have to go down! Rapper doesn't know about the elevator. Oh my god, there's an elevator to go down! <laughs>